Almost every image editing application has something called a blend mode. Now, when you're working on the computer, you have pixels that live in different layers. You have the ability to have those pixels interact with each other to create all kinds of effects. Now, what I'm going to do to show you this is use one of my sketches here. And this is of a dragon who needs to eat less and fly more. And that's what it's called, less eat, more fly. And this is something I'm doing in ZBrush, by the way. This is a fun personal project. I can go to Layer, New, and create a solid. And I'm going to change the color of this solid to a greenish color. I'm going to drag this solid underneath the artwork to give you an example of a blend mode. Now, we have two ways to get to the blend modes. Well, actually, more than that. But let me show you the easiest way. On the bottom of our timeline, we have this Toggle Switches Modes button. Click it one time. And you'll see that it changes the buttons that you have inside your interface. I have a mode section now that has my blend modes in it. So on the dragon layer, I'm going to choose something called multiply. Now we can see the line art and the color of that solid. The way multiply works is it looks at the pixels on the top layer. It discards the pixels that are white and it keeps the pixels that are dark so you can see through them. So once again, this is great for people who like to do cartooning like I do. You can do this in Photoshop as well and even in Illustrator. Multiply keeps the black line and it lets you see through things. The opposite of that would be something like Screen. Screen is going to keep the lighter pixels and it's going to blend the values of the dark with the underlying layer. So that's why we have green now. So it doesn't keep the black, it keeps the lighter values but it blends those with these guys and gives you a green line. Pretty cool stuff, huh? If I right click on a layer, I can also get to blending modes. And you can see in this list here, it's quite, well, crazy. There's all kinds of blend modes in here. So how do you know which one to use? Well, one good way is to experiment. Another way, of course, is to read about them. And there's a lot of information. But right away, you can see that we have the ability to choose things like Dissolve which will dissolve the pixels on the top layer and give you a little bit of a jaggedy feel. Now, unfortunately, these are way too uh, comprehensive to go over everything, but I just wanted to give you a quick look at just a few of them. Now, here's Overlay. Now, Overlay, almost like Multiply, takes the lighter pixels and kind of get rid of them a little bit, but it also takes that dark line and it overlays it and gives you the color underneath. That's why we have no longer a black line, but a green line and the green out here as well. So there's tons and tons in here, as you can see. Now, we have different sections as well. We have sections that will dodge colors and sections that will burn colors. Burning colors means it will make things darker. Dodging makes things lighter. So we can do something like a classic color dodge, which gives us the ability to really get a saturated feel. We have the ability to go to things like a color burn which gives us a very saturated color. This line is darker and so are the green values. So this is a quick look at the many, many modes that you can apply to the multiple layers inside of your comps.